Welcome quizzers. Today's video is all about these popular series and movie, Megan, Wednesday, and Stranger Things. In this video, all you have to do is guess whose voice is being played. Okay, let's start. Guess the voice. Never knowing people's true feelings. If someone likes me for me. That's why Xavier broke up with me. You can never fully trust me. It's Bianca from Wednesday. Never knowing people's true feelings. If someone likes me for me. That's why Xavier broke up with me. You can never fully trust me. Guess this character. I, I didn't do anything. It's... I, this is She's locked us out. She's still patched in. We have to unhook the cables. It's Tess from Megan. I, I didn't do anything. It's... I, this is her. She's locked us out. She's still patched in. We have to unhook the cables. How about this voice? I always had this dream that I'd have this, like, this really, this really big family. I'm talking like a full brood of Harringtons, like five, six kids. It's Steve from Stranger Things. I always had this dream that I'd have this, like, this really, this really big family. I'm talking like a full brood of Harringtons, like five, six kids. Now guess this one. She will recognize you as her primary user. And when you do that, you're going to pair with her. It's Gemma from Megan. She will recognize you as her primary user. And when you do that, you're going to pair with her. How about this voice? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? How do you feel about scary movies? Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. It's Tyler from Wednesday. No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? How do you feel about scary movies? Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. Can you guess who? No. No, I don't need you to reassure me right now and tell me that it's all gonna work out because people have been telling me that my entire life and it's almost never true. It's Max from Stranger Things. No. No, I don't need you to reassure me right now and tell me that it's all gonna work out because People have been telling me that my entire life, and it's almost never true. Can you guess the voice? Did you really think my highly trained olfactory sense wouldn't pick up on the faint whiff of neroli and bergamot in your favorite hand lotion? I could do this all day. It's Wednesday. Did you really think my highly trained olfactory sense wouldn't pick up on the faint whiff of neroli and bergamot in your favorite hand lotion? I could do this all day. How about this one? One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. She was upset because I didn't eat my sandwiches. And then all of a sudden, this thing crawls up her wrist and she just started screaming like a maniac and ran out of the house. <laughs> It's Katie from Megan. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. She was upset because I didn't eat my sandwiches. And then all of a sudden, this thing crawls up her wrist and she just started screaming like a maniac and ran out of the house. Guess whose voice this is? Just move your date this one time, come on! Just jealous because I have another older male friend. North, I'm positive I checked the map. It's Dustin from Stranger Things. Just move your date this one time, come on! Just jealous because I have another older male friend. North, I'm positive I checked the map. How about this one? Do you think squirrels and rats could ever work out? 
I mean, they're two totally different species. It's Ajax from Wednesday. Do you think squirrels and rats could ever work out? I mean, they're two totally different species. Guess the character's voice. Research shows that if you force a child to eat vegetables, then they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adult. Yes. Experts say the preferred method is to give your child the choice. It was Megan. Research shows that if you force a child to eat vegetables, then they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adult. Yes. Experts say the preferred method is to give your child the choice. Guess this one. It's a gift. I, uh, I handpicked those for you in Hawkins. I know you like yellow, but now I'm kind of realizing that it's too much yellow. I, I know you also like purple, so I got some purple as well, so I kind of did like a 70-30 split kind of thing. It's Mike from Stranger Things. It's a gift. I, uh, I handpicked those for you in Hawkins. I know you like yellow, but now I'm kind of realizing that it's too much yellow. I, I know you also like purple, so I got some purple as well, so I kind of did like a 70-30 split kind of thing. Guess the voice. You pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? There's even a DJ, MC Bloodsuckers. It's Xavier from Wednesday. You pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? There's even a DJ, MC Bloodsuckers. How about this voice? You know what you could do, Kurt, that would really benefit this discussion? Is if you could head out those double doors, take the elevator to the first floor, and get me a kombucha! It's David from Megan. You know what you could do, Kurt, that would really benefit this discussion? Is if you could head out those double doors, take the elevator to the first floor, and get me a kombucha! Who's talking? The whole snarky goth girl thing might have worked at Normie School, but here things are different. Let me give you a wiki on Nevermore's social scene. It's Enid from Wednesday. Snarky goth girl thing might have worked at Normie School, but here things are different. Let me give you a wiki on Nevermore's social scene. Guess whose voice this is? My dad is famous. He saved lots of lives in a mall fire. He was a hero for people, and he was my hero too. It was Eleven from Stranger Things. My dad is famous. He saved lots of lives in a mall fire. He was a hero for people, and he was my hero too. Congratulations, quizzers. You made it to the end. Here's a bonus point for a perfect 20 points. How many points did you get? Comment it down below.